As well as its swinging discotheques, Melbourne now has about 60 Saturday night dances. This was one of the latest to open. It aims at running a dance for more than 1,500 teenagers with a discotheque atmosphere. The night it opened, Normie Rowe made his farewell appearance here. But that wasn't the only reason the management wanted half a dozen bouncers and two police wagons standing by. At most of the discotheques and dancers, there's the danger of brawls between the Sharpies and the Mods. The Mods tend to have long hair and wear mod gear. The Sharpies have short hair and sometimes baggy trousers. The Sharpies are not allowed in dancers because they know they're always fighting that, so uh, they don't let them come in dancers. So they want the Sharpies fight outside for them. They're, there's never an even side, you see. The Sharpies always, you know, they hide. Then uh, send one, in, one bloke in, pick the fight. They might think, oh, we could take care of this bloke, you know. And uh, so then uh, when the mods pick it, because they just fight back, so they all come out hiding. How vicious do these fights get? Oh, pretty vicious. A couple of chaps the other week, a couple of mods have just got in hospital for with uh, bruised ribs and a few cuts. What do they use to fight with? Oh, steel bars, bike chains and bricks. Yes, yeah, bricks. So you keep out of their way, do you? Oh, we have to, unless we've got an even side just to fight back. Most Saturday nights, the Sharpies stand around in the shadows outside the discotheques that ban them. This one keeps a bouncer called Terry at the door. Terry's six foot six and weighs 18 and a half stone. Well, they, they call us queers, Sharpies, idiots, and they sling off us just because we're well dressed. What do you call them? Oh, well, what do you reckon? What do they look like? Do you want me to say while this camera's on me? <laughs> what normally happens when you meet a mod in the street? Well, they look at you once, you ignore them. They look at you twice, you ask them what they want. They look at you a third time, you block them. And what usually happens after you block them? They start brawling, most of them. <laughs> <laughs> How much strife have you got into talking to mods in the street? What's the strife? Oh, I've been in a couple of fights. What's happened in that? I've got done a couple of times, and so has a couple of the uh, mods have got done. How rough have these fights been? Fairly rough. Well, how rough? Rough enough to put kids in hospital. Well, what sort of injuries did they get when you were involved? Oh, a couple of been, uh, kids been cut, cut eye and had stitches in his forehead and everything. He's terribly tough.